Asteroids heading to Earth are capable of mass extinction at Earth impact, and NASA, of course, is on a mission to find them. NASA search for asteroids to help protect Earth. NASA is placing high priority to finding near-Earth objects, NEOs, and protecting our home planet from them. The agency is working with our partners in the U.S. and around the world to detect, track, and characterize NEOs, especially those that might pose a threat to the human populations. NASA has been studying NEOs since 1970s. There are asteroids and comets that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter the Earth's neighborhood. They're composed mostly of water ice with embedded dust particles. Comets originally formed in the cold outer planetary system, while most of the rocky asteroids formed in the warmer inner solar system between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Established in 1998, NASA's NEO observation programs at NASA, Near Earth Objects, is responsible for the agency's efforts at finding, tracking, and character characterizing the NEOs. The agency's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, conducts the daily operations of this program. On March 11, 1998, asteroid astronomers around the world received an ominous message. New observational data on the recently discovered asteroid 1997XF11 suggested there was a chance that the half-mile-wide, nearly one-kilometer object could hit Earth in the year 2028. That is only 10 years from now. The message came from the Minor Planet Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The worldwide repository for such observations and initial determination of asteroid orbits. Although it was intended to alert only the very small astronomical community, that hunts and tracks asteroids to call for more observations. The news spread quickly. Most media outlets did not know what to make of this announcement and mistakenly highlighted the prospect that Earth was doomed. Fortunately, it turned out that Earth was never in danger from this 1997 XF11 after performing a more thorough orbit analysis with the available asteroid observations. Jan Don Yemens, the leader of the, Sol the Solar Dynamics Group of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Pasadena, California, with his colleague Paul Kodas, concluded otherwise. Quote, the 2028 impact was essentially impossible, said Kodas, who is now the director of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. Quote, to this day, we still get queries on the chances of XF11 impact in 2028. There is simply no chance of XF11 impacting our planet that year or for the next 200 years, end quote. Kodas knows that this thanks to the CNEO's precise orbit calculations using observation data submitted to the Minor Planet Center by observatories all over the world. They detect and track the motion of asteroids and comets. For the past two decades, CNEO's calculations have enabled NASA to become the world leader in these efforts, keeping close watch on all nearby asteroids and comets, especially those that can cross Earth's orbit. Quote, we compute high-precision orbits for all asteroids and comets and map their positions in the solar system, both forward in time to detect potential impacts and backward to see where they've been in the sky. We provide the best map of orbits for all known small bodies in the solar system. Of course, the thing is that they can't catch everything. And the example is, of course, the Chelyabinsk meteor that struck in February a few years ago. Near-Earth objects are asteroids and comets in orbits that bring them into the inner solar system within 121 million miles, 195 million kilometers of the Sun, and also within roughly 30 million miles or 50 million kilometers of Earth's orbit around the Sun. The media frenzy around NEO 1997 XF11 
demonstrated the need for clarity and precision in communicating with the public about close passes by Earth of these objects, as well as the importance of peer review before public statements like these are made. Predicting close approaches and impacts, Sentry and Scout. The first and most important step in assessing the impact risk of the asteroid or comet is to determine whether any given object's orbit will cross Earth's orbit and then how close it will be to actually getting to our planet. JPL determines high precision orbits of a few NEOs even before NASA launched its NEO observations programs and has since upgraded its orbit models to provide the most accurate assessment available for asteroid positions and orbits. More hunting to do though, however. With the addition of more capable NASA-funded asteroid surveys over the years, NASA's NEO's observation program is responsible for over 90% of near-Earth asteroids and comets discoveries. There are now over 18,000 known NEOs and the discovery rate averages about 40 every week. Although the original congressional goal for 1998 had been exceeded and much progress has been made in asteroid discovery and tracking over the past two decades, the work is not over. In 2005, Congress established a new, much more ambitious goal for the NEO observations program to discover 90% of the NEOs down to a much smaller size of 450 feet, that's 140 meters, and to do so by the year 2020. These similar asteroids may not present a threat to global catastrophe if they impact the Earth, but they could still cause massive regional devastation and loss of life, especially if they occur near metropolitan areas. CENOs continue to make improvements to its orbital analysis Time tool to image and graphic presentation to capabilities, You'll find it in the and updates of its below. websites are Thank quickly, you. accurately provided the very latest information.